Let's see how right I am with my predictions once the 2024 season rolls around. But I hope you guys... Alrighty, folks, I know it's been a really, really long time since I posted, but the 2024 NASCAR season is just around the corner. The Clash at the Coliseum is this Sunday. Last year, I made my predictions on who will get what seed, and now it is time to revisit them and see how right I actually was. My first prediction was that Zane Smith would take over the number 10 car for a retiring Eric Amarola, and how wrong could I have been? Eric Almirola is not going to retire. He's semi-retired. He's going to race part-time in the Xfinity Series for Joe Gibbs Racing. Didn't see that one coming. And Zane Smith is going to drive for Spire Motorsports in the number 71 car with a alliance with Trackhouse Racing. My next prediction was that Denny Hamlin would not leave the number 11 team for Joe Gibbs Racing and he would stay right where he was at. And I got that prediction right. In my next prediction, I don't think I could have got it more wrong. Colleague Racing, th they're kind of messed up this year. I got one part of it right. AJ Allmendinger is going back down to the Xfinity Series and going full-time. But the Cup drivers, I did not. I said that Chandler Smith was going to drive the 16 and that Austin Hill was going to drive the 31. All right, well, Chandler Smith is going to Toyota with Joe Gibbs Racing in the Xfinity Series. And Austin Hill re-signed with RCR. So who's driving in the Cup Series? Daniel Hemrick is taking over the 31 car. And the 16 car is going to be split with a lot of different drivers. But the two that we know right now as of this video is AJ Allmendinger and Josh Williams. After parking his car in the middle of the track at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Josh Williams really sent shockwaves to the NASCAR community. And he landed him a good ride with Colleague Racing in the Xfinity Series. And now he's driving part-time in Cup. What a move for that kid. My next prediction was Legacy Motor Club and John Hunter Nemechek. That was basically not even a prediction because everybody knew that was going to happen. And then I talked about Spire Motorsports and Ty Dillon. I said Carson Hosevar was getting the 77 car, and I was right about that. Ty Dillon is getting demoted, thank God, and he is going to the 25 truck. Matt Benedetto got booted out of that. I still think that team did him wrong. But the rumor is that Matt Benedetto is going to Joe Gibbs Racing in the Xfinity Series, and he is going to race part-time. I think it was six races, so good on Matt. My last and final prediction was Shane Van Gisbergen racing in all three top NASCAR series part-time. And I was kind of right. He's going to race in the 91 part-time, just, you know, a couple of races, like the Project 91 thing. And he is going to race full-time in the Xfinity Series with an alliance with Colleague Racing and Trackhouse Racing. That is amazing. That 97 number kind of does look good on Shane Van Gisbergen, if I do say so myself. I just lied to you guys. This was my last and final prediction of the video. I don't know how I forgot it. But Noah Gregson, I said he was going through the Xfinity series and racing for some lower class team. Was I wrong? He is going to the number 10 car in the Cup Series, replacing Eric Almirola and I don't know what to say. Every time somebody's racist, they always get an upgraded ride. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. But those were my predictions for the 2024 NASCAR season. I got a couple right, all right, but we're not going to focus on the ones I got wrong. We're going to focus on the ones I got right, so I gave myself a pat on the back for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely consider smashing that like button, like, subscribe. Peace out. NASCAR General, out.